The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. This episode of Good Times with Mo the Podcast is brought to you by Globe. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex, sex. are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way. The Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Welcome to the podcast. It is another episode of Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two, brought to you by Globe. My name is Mo. Phone number 478-7954. Skype the Good Times podcast. You can text us at 0927-214-1981. And as always, with Bianca Valerio on vacation. Just me and you guys tonight. Now, what's the deal here? When it, when is Bianca coming back, kids? Ange. Lesbo he, Ange. Or uh, Pico. What's going on? Next week. I next think. week. Uh, uh, you mean yeah. next week as in like next Monday week? Yeah, next Monday. All right. Well, half rejoice and half go. Yay. 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 Yeah, Yay. So, cool. so she'll be back. All right. So it's just going to be, this is the last episode of me and everyone else, right? And, and I've enjoyed yeah. this. I mean, not, nothing against Bianca. I love Bianca dearly. But mm-hmm. I've enjoyed this whole just kind of like intimacy thing between me and the, and the listeners one-on-one. But this is the last day because tomorrow we have uh, Denise Laurel, who we, I think Denise is um, going to want to, Jump on every week, uh, like like how we do with uh, Alano and and, and Ange. Uh, uh, sorry, what's that? What's that? Uh, Chopper. Uh, and um, she, I think she wants to do Tuesdays, which is going to be kind of cool um, if, if that's the case. So Yay. we have her uh, on Tuesday. Wednesday is some basketball guys like Jason Webb. And Miko Miko Halili. Halili. Thursday we have another Michelle athlete, Gumabao. Michelle. She's the volleyball player who's yes, kind of hot, from right? Yes, the pretty yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, Pico. Yes. Those noises I make with my mouth. Um, yeah, so that, that'll be good. Cool. That's, that's what's coming up this week. All right, so tonight, just again, me, you, your questions, 478-7954, Skype, the Good Times Podcast. Our Skype's a little fucked up uh, tonight, we have to admit, which, w- w- what isn't fucked up on our show on any given night? And this is all, of course, because Pico is working with us. Uh, we've never had these kind of problems in season one, and you know that. You were there. So, Pico, yeah. please, as fast as you fucking can... Please stop destroying all our shit. I mean, I, you, you're lucky I'm I'm tolerant of this stuff, but please hurry the fuck up and fix some of our problems. I, I yes? fixed it. Yeah, I already did. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I don't see it fixed. I'm looking at it; it's still fucked up. I, I mean, for all the fan love that you get, a lot of people send me messages. Oh, I love Pico. He sounds so good. Salad is this, and all of that. And some old girl will tweet you and say they're your new crush. You are incredibly shitty at what you do. So please hurry up. Oh, well. <laughs> hold on. Yeah, thank you. Let's get to it. Let's start with John on line two. John, you are 29 years old, Paranaque. What's going on, buddy? John? Hi. Good evening. Hi, John. Hi. Good evening. What's up? Uh, fine. Good. How can we help you? Actually, I have a question. Sure. Um, this regarding to my three years, a friend. I don't know what's, how to call that friend with benefits. Okay, but, so you guys are in fact having sex. You have no, no, no. Boy you have a problem. So there's no benefits. Yeah, but he, he's trying to. He's, she's trying to seduce me or something. But How do you know that? Me because I'm I'm still virgin, actually. Twenty-nine year old virgin. Now it yeah. says here you were a ex seminarian. So yes, yes. How, a part of this is because uh, 
you were in the seminary that you didn't have sex? No, siguro torpe or hindi ko lang nakikita yung yung hindi ko masyado na ano yung gusto niya kasi hindi nga ako marunong. I have a question. See, I have, I have a question. Uh, let's not talk about the girl real quick. I want to talk about you. I'm sorry, sir. 29. I, 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 let's not talk about the girl for now. Uh, let's talk about you a little bit because I want to know. I'm interested in a, in a couple of things. When you're 29 years old, tapos hindi ka pa nagsasex, gano'ng kadalas yung masturbation um, days for you? To be honest? Yeah, to uh, be honest. Five please. to ten bucks in a day? Putang ina. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on one second. Pico. You hear that, baby? Yeah. That's called efficiency. That's intense. Five to ten times a day. That's, that's, I have a problem and I'm going to fix it. Can you treat <laughs> our tech shit like virgin dick, please? Yeah, I'll do it nine to ten times. Thank you, buddy. Just checking. Um, five to ten times a day. Yeah. Minsan, depende pa yun kung, kung saan ako dat nanilibok. Boy, you need to, you need to have sex. Now, now, uh, you know, recently on the program, we're talking a lot about like you know, you know, spas and stuff like that. How come you've never been tempted to go to a, a spa and get one of those happy ending, full benefits only pop? No, never going to. Why not? Shampoo yeah, for my security also. Yeah, yeah, good man. Yeah, I got you. Mm -hmm. All right. And why did you get out of the seminary? Um, actually, to be honest, na naras kasi ako don kaya since sabi ko kanina, I'm still virgin with the girls, but I'm not yet virgin in. You know, boys? Really? Who who asked you? Of course, <laughs> priest. The the priest, of course. Now, now now how far does it go when you say harass? Nothing. Like, it's just like, this is a simple lang, shocking lang. Simple blowjob. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's not that simple. How old were you when you started getting blown by a priest? Um, sixteen. Oh. Fuck. Hey, listen, the Lord works in mysterious ways. Uh, was there any anal sex involved or just no, blow jobs? No, no, no. Just BJs, huh? And do yeah. you have to give the BJ or do they give you the BJ? They. They give you the BJ? Yes, yes. Oh, man, that sucks, dude. And how many of your classmates are getting fucking blown by these Actually, fucking Actually, I think five times. Five times that year. But I mean... Until how, many other, how many other students are getting blown also? I don't know. Maybe, nandun ako sa, sa loob ng uh, kom, kombento in the par Paris uh -huh. Priest. Siguro meron kami tatlo na nag-usap-usap with, with regarding of that. So, nagkakabukin and, and, and why do you allow them, if, if I may? Why, Wala kang magawa go... eh, kasi why? you're yeah, just a Christian or, you know, in, in, in that, age, so you're... That, that age kasi wala ka tagang magagawa eh, kundi... That's fucking wild. Do you come in their mouth? Hindi ko na remember. That's Patay awful. Kasi that's awful. Yeah, that's fucking awful, man. I'm sorry that happened to you. And oh yeah. shit. All right. Well, that, that's another issue to deal with in terms of like, like. In terms of what that's kind of damage that's done to you, I, I mean, maybe it's not a different issue. Maybe it's, it's a lot of it's definitely connected to how you behave now. Actually, but... it's a big, big, it's a big, ano, uh, result na hindi maganda sa akin. Yeah, well, Kaya, of course. Isa sa mga sample, like yung hindi ko kaya maligaw ng babae, and I don't know how to get started. Well, I definitely think you need some therapy for this. Um... You really need to see a counselor. It might even do you a lot of spiritual good if you did something about it. Actually, like, undergo na ako before. Yeah. Nung analaman ng bishop na may nangyari sa amin. Ah, so nahuli si priest. Nahuli si priest. And nag-turn siya ng Muslim. Oh, great. Now he's yeah. a Muslim. Dahil na yung investigation nun. So, so now ang dadala like, ko na ngayon yung pain, yung nangyari. Yeah. So, meron oh. namang reconciliation. So, so the guy is no longer a priest. Yeah. Or I just hope he's not a priest in, in the Islamic faith, like whatever the equivalent is, or if it is a priest. But, oh, God, I hope he's not over there molesting little Muslim boys now. Okay. Well, hey, listen, shit. This started off as a great conversation about five to ten times jacking a day, plus okay. this girl, this hot piece of ass that you want to fuck, and it's gone to this. So this is uh, This is sad. But anyway, all right. Let's, uh, if you're undergoing counseling and all of that stuff, continue to do that. 
continue to do the therapy, and then let's talk about you wanting to have sex. So you yeah. say this girl wants to seduce you. What is she doing? How, how, I mean, prove I mean, it to me. Like, kasi three years na kami magkibigan nun. So parang doon ako natutulog sa kanya. Tapos misan nakukuhubad siya. Then nag-confess siya sa akin last time. Actually, three months ago, na gawa daw kami ng baby. Wow. Then I realized, parang, paano ko sisimulan niya? <laughs> eh, hindi nga ako na, hindi pa nga ako nakakatikim ng babae. Ever since. Yeah, that's true. Well, um, first of all, don't have a baby. Uh, I, I mean, please don't. That That's crazy talk. But if you want to have sex with her, then you know what to do. Put a condom on your dick and, you know, just listen. You 90% of the difficulty has been taken care of already. You have a girl who's willing to be naked in front of you, and she has actually verbalized her desire to fuck you. So 90% of the entire difficult part is done already. She wants to. That's, that's, the, that's the hard part. How do you get there to where she agrees to want to have sex? That's the challenge for every man listening to the show, every man you see on the fucking bus, every man you see everywhere. It's, it, the difficulty is how do you get them to that moment? And you're already there. So at this point, you just need to dive in. Put a condom on your dick and go, let's give it a shot. And, and I, listen, you have to do it before you're 30. You're 29 years old. Yeah. When's your birthday? <laughs> February 2. When's your birthday? February 2. I'm sorry? February 2. Feb 22? Yes. Go. Uh, hold on one second. Yes. These people are sending me messages to staff. Please do it for Christmas, <laughs> for Jesus' birthday. Just get over there on Christmas morning. Please have sex with this girl. I what if I failed ko yung gusto niya? I mean, kasi gusto ko, pag ginawa ko yun, ako yung pinaka-the-best. Does she, know, does she know that you're a virgin? No. Tell her. Maybe that will make her, maybe that will turn her on. Just alam mo naman, medyo nakakaya to, pero virgin pa ako. Kasi alam mo, okay. ganayin ko sa seminary. You know, all of that fucking drama, maybe she'll fuck your brains out. And then all of a sudden, you don't have to, you don't have to be so pressured about your performance because she knows that you're a virgin and she's going to teach you. Everything you need to know. Yeah, pero nanonood naman ako ng mga porn. Pero yun nga lang, parang I'm sure you do. If you're, if you're jacking off five to ten times a day, I'm sure you know your porn. Yeah. Listen, there's nothing like jumping in and doing the real thing. John, please do it. Yeah. All right, buddy. Good. Godspeed to you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you. man. You still pray and all of that, or is that all shattered for you because of all this stupid pre-shit? Yeah. John, do you still pray? You still believe in God or no? To be honest, never na ako nagsimba na since nangyari sa akin yun. Yeah, I understand that. But I, 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 I pray. Okay, all right. Good All right, man. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Good luck. Bye-bye. Therapy, therapy, therapy. Please continue that. Uh, let's go to... Who do we got here? Cecilia, who is 19 years old. Quezon City, line six. Hi, Cecilia. How are you? Hi, good, I guess. Great. What's up, Boy, baby? How can I help you? Oh, fuck. What's what? wrong with your love life? Come on. What's wrong with the love life? Um, I've been single the past three years, but then all of those years that I've been flirting with everybody, it's like something's wrong with every one of them. When it's time to... Either, uh... It's either my girls and sila, my iba silang nilalandi pa, or... You know, parang lagi kong second choice. Or yeah. maybe third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and it sucks. Yeah, it, it, it does suck. Um, hmm. And you want to know what's wrong with you? Is, is, it, is it you or is oh, it why you guys me. like these? <laughs> well, you know, are you having sex with these guys? Some of them, yes. Yeah, that's the problem. And we were talking about this last week. I think the key here is don't have sex with anybody that you really, really? want. Cause, yeah, be, be, because what happens is, I mean, here's the thing. If you want to have sex with guys, then have sex with them. But make sure these are not guys you're really in love with. If it's all about casual sex. If you're going to fuck a guy who's not your boyfriend and you like him and you want him to be your boyfriend, that's a bad idea. Really because, yeah, I mean, it it really is. Sometimes, like, wait here. I don't know. It's sometimes I I'm thinking it's only my choice of being second, and I think that's what's wrong with me. Because I find it thrilling, exciting, and oh well, know, yes. Then why are you awesome. complaining? 
if that was the case, like you're 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 fucking these guys who are married and stuff like that. That's and you want to do it because it's exciting. Then really, there's nothing to complain about. Because you are so. See, here's the thing. Okay, here, here's the thing, uh, Cecilia. And you're only 19, so this is going to be, Medro. This is going to be a long time. This is going to be happening to you. You uh-huh. tend to be attracted to guys who are taken. You want to be in that position, and you can't mm-hmm. complain. Then why are all of these guys taken and married? It's because you're attracted to this kind of individual. I'm you not have to... really actually complaining. It's just that. Why does every guy I get involved with happen to be like that? I mean, because you're attracted to them. One who's not Cecilia. There are millions out there who's not, but you don't like them. Where's your dad? Where's your dad? Your dad is he around? Is it a great relationship you have with your family? Uh, a bit together. No cheating. Amongst your parents? No. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right. Well, listen, here's what. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to start dating guys you don't like so much. Like, uh, mm-hmm. there's, okay, you, you know, in life, there are guys that you really, really like, and then there's going to be guys yeah. you only kind of like, and then there's guys you'll never date. Date guys mm-hmm. that you only kind of like. And let's see how that turns out. Don't date the ones you really, really want. Because I, I have a feeling the guys that you're attracted to, the ones you're opening yourself, uh, yourself up to, are these guys that you really, really dig. And they, if, if all of them, like you said, all of them, not even one of them, isn't either married or have a girlfriend or dating other people, you need to date guys that you're not really, really into. And let's see how that works out. Because m- my worry is... That's another Go. problem because my friends, they've been setting me up with guys who I really, I mean, or kind of like only, but then I don't like them. I want to settle for the ones I really like. Oh yeah, well, that's the thing. Life. Try, just force yourself a little bit. Try dating. You don't have yeah. to sleep with okay. them. Try dating a guy you <laughs> only kind of like. You need him when you really, really. And I bet you, yeah. they're, it's going to end up better for you than the ones you're really into. I think what, what what's going on here is you're super attracted to, to a certain kind of guy, and it just it's not even coincidence that these guys are married. That is your thing, and I want you to okay. remove yourself from that, especially at 19 years old, because you're so goddamn young and you're already fucking guys who are married. I mean, at, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't want that for you. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll, I'll try that one. If it. All right. So you, again, you don't have to date guys you fucking hate. Just you know, my marginal crushes now. <laughs> okay. All right. Now send me a tweet. I want to see what you look like, baby. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Thank, thanks for the call. See you. We appreciate it. Thank Have a good you. One. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, tweet Mo. I'm sorry. No, I told her to tweet you. Yes, please, Cecilia. Please tweet me. I, I'm just, <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny because we give advice to people, to girls especially. We give advice to girls, Pico, about which guys to stay away from. Mm-hmm. And how these guys are assholes. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the fucking conversation, we always become those guys. No, it's not being an asshole. It's research. Because we don't know them. And we want to get to know I know, but it's like, stay sure. away from these guys who all they want to do is fuck you in the ass. All the, you know, they don't want to be your girl. You don't want, they don't want you as a girlfriend. They're just there for sex. Then like, the girl's like, really? Tell like, God, you mean they don't care about me? They don't care about you. They just want to taste some of that delicious ass. <laughs> okay. Now send me a tweet, baby, because I want to <laughs> <laughs> we're becoming exactly what we're telling them to stay away from. I fucking love it. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, more of your calls, 478-7954. Looks like it's going to be a busy night here on this uh, Monday night, so keep them coming. Uh, Skype, the Good Times Podcast. You can even text us, 927 1981 It's Good Times with all the podcast, brought to you by Glow. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have. 
Some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are suddenly shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you download the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the with the game Chubby Bunny, but um, what's like? Have you, have you played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth. You say Chubby Bunny, and you keep putting it in your mouth. And you keep okay. Saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever Let's can get it. the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you, okay, gonna buy. Okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, na, okay, na. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Go. Two at a time? Okay, I'll go two at a time. Okay, can I go? What? Okay, na, okay, na. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, can I go? Okay, na, okay, na. Okay, can I go? What you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> I made it up. I mean, this time of year, right? Elections. <laughs> uh, you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story. Okay? <laughs> Children do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you're not we're allowed able to, to verify all of them. these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically... <laughs> now, number two. Upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay? Cabin lights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lock all doors of vehicles. During inspection, since lock, oh, lock. they might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking. But that's doors. the thing. Okay. This is where they get you, and this is actually. <laughs> I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yes. this is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harass. Drugs yeah. are planted. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and they're, they're other things, stories. you know. Um, mm. A Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh yes, no! I've heard of that, you know, and there's no defense for that. It's just there's Bieber really no defense. The, yeah, it's like, it's but Your Honor, we found this. I <laughs> throw, throw the book at him. But the then CD as well. You, you know, then after that you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch no. James Deacon and God. the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, 7:30 to 8:30, only here. On the factory. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about. Oh, 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 oh what does this look like? Vagina? And. Like a double blow job. 
Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High five, bro. Vagina? Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. So she hates me. <laughs> it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here, it is a Monday night. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season two, brought to you by Globe. 4th of November, by the way. Phone number 478-7954. Skype, the Good Times Podcast. Text us 0927-214-1981. A lot of calls tonight. Again, me and you guys. Tomorrow, Denise LaRoe will be here. Wednesday, Jason Webb, Miko Hadili. On uh, Thursday, we'll talk about basketball. A lot of basketball, but, you know, we'll take your love life and all that shit on Wednesday as well. Thursday, Michelle Gumabo, I think is how you pronounce her last name, if I'm not mistaken. She's a uh, baller, female baller, volleyballer from uh, La Salle. Pretty hot. That's what I hear. I'll uh, confirm that on Thursday. Friday, of course, the helicopter, as she always is on Fridays. Um, uh, let's get to more of your calls. How about we do a 17-year-old here and talk to is this uh, Hannah? Hannah, you're 17. Makati, what's up? Welcome to the show. Line 6. Hello. Hi, Hannah. Hi. What's up, baby? Hello. Hannah? Hello. Hi. How can we help you? I'm here. I'm forbidden love. It's like I'm, um, I'm 17 and my professor, I'm in love with my professor. How old is he? Christian. How old is your professor? 25. Oh. All right. Now, does he know? Are you guys flirting with each other? Are you texting any of these things? No, but um, like I've been trying to recite in his class. Or his, his okay, how far do you want this to go? Like, okay, yeah, you, you you have a really big crush on your teacher. He's not doing anything. He's not he's not texting you about it, obviously, because it's wrong. No, but no. how how far do you want to go with this whole thing? Do you want hanggang crush lang? Do you want talaga gusto mo maging boyfriend? No, I, want I mean, to, um... you want him to to be in love with you? Yeah, after college, after I graduate. Tana. Okay. Tana. And then uh does he wait sorry, does he know you have a crush on him? Hey. I think. He think okay. Well how about this, uh Hannah, because you're seventeen and you know it's probably looked frowned upon that a seventeen year old dates a twenty five year old professor when you're the student, but why not this? Don't tell him anything until after you graduate. Don't I mean, because what I'm hoping and what I'm betting is, is you're no longer going to have a crush on him eventually. Like, you know, these things, they kind of, they're, these crushes on professors are so common. And the, the biggest mistake that most people do, whether it be student or professor, is actually make something happen. And then that's really dangerous because of, well, you know, the age gap, the legalities, the, the job being put on the line. I mean, there's a lot of problems that kind of arise when you have a professor student love affair. Is he married? Yeah. 
yeah, oof, yeah. See, then there's that, the extramarital kind of scandal and all of these things. So how about don't do anything about it, especially while you're in school, and you'll see in time that crush will just fade. Like, it usually just goes away. I think at one point, all of us have been in, had a crush on a teacher or something like that. It's bad news to do something about it. Okay, Hannah, especially he's married. Like, that really, like, of all the things that you told me, Hannah, Mary, I'm sorry, of all the things that you told me, 25 years old, teacher, you know, all of the kind of variables that you've thrown in, the one that I worry the most about is married. Because I don't want you at 17 years old thinking it's a good idea to be in love with married men. Like, that's a really bad idea, Hannah. It will bite you in the ass many times. I'm sorry? Hello? Yeah, what did you say? Yeah. All right, well, well you get my message. Uh, well, let's just leave it at that. All right. Thanks, Hannah. Thanks for the call. I appreciate okay. it. Have a Thank good. you. Bye-bye. Yeah, there's like, there's like fucking five things wrong with that whole thing, that whole setup. The worst of it all is married. You don't want a 17 years old to be in love. But at the same time, I also understand... That when you're young, you, you get attracted to a lot of people, especially people in power, people who have influence, and your teacher does. So you kind of forget that he's married, and you're just kind of swooned by his ability to stand there in front of class, control the environment, be really smart, so caring, good-looking at 25. I mean, the, it's easy to have a crush on a professor. I get that. But be careful. Because then all of a sudden, you're like our first caller when you're there already, 16 years old, the creep has got you in a dark place in the, inside the confession room, and all of a sudden he's blowing you because he's in control. And like the guy says, I, I couldn't even do anything. I don't know. I can't do anything about it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's dangerous stuff, man. So be careful with those kind of crushes. Crushes on even bosses, you know, big boss and stuff like that. Relax, man, if they're, especially if they're married. Boy, if you get caught, you're fucking screwed. Um, let's go to – who do we got here? Anne? I think Anne. Anne's 21, line 5. Hi, uh, Anne, you're in Cebu. What's up? No, Anne. We have Heidi on line six. Heidi? Oh, okay. Heidi, you're 30 on line six. Sambalis, what's up? Hi. Hi. Uh, hey. I'm good. <laughs> well, Thanks for calling us, man. All the way down south, baby. What's up? How can we help you? You're 30 years old. Oh, no, sorry. I, yeah, I, said, um, I, meant, I said Zambales. That's north. Sorry. I was thinking Zambonga because we've had a lot of yep. Zambonga calls. All right. You're up north. What's yep. up, baby? Well, uh... I got pregnant by a guy uh, whom I met online. Uh, well, uh, to uh, tell you uh, the story. You downloaded some sperm short. in your bag. Yeah, please, go ahead. We had a one-night stand. Lovely. And then a month ago, I, got, I found out that I got pregnant. And then I, 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 called, I called him. And uh, he said... That uh ko baby yan, hindi sa akin yan. And then I explained na sa kanya yun, but then mm. he, he kept on denying it. And then uh, after a week, he changed his number. And now my uh, baby is seven months old. So I was just, I, I was just wondering, uh, what will I tell my baby if the time comes that he asks for his father? Um... <clears throat> <laughs> well, let's see here. We don't know yet what's going to happen in your life. Like, I, I think the, the the child asking about his father's a few years away, and uh, we don't know what's going to happen in your life right now. Like, you can you can easily get a new boyfriend. Like, you we don't know. I mean, I don't want you to get a new boyfriend just to be a father figure. But I'm saying we don't know that. Say, sometime in March of next year, perhaps you find a boyfriend, and that boyfriend completely accepts everything that you bring to the table and becomes a father figure for your child, then all of a sudden it's not that big of a problem. Like, you, you, you get what I mean? Let's not foresee this question years and years in advance and stress about it. If, if your child does ask about his father, then you tell them the truth. You know, he, he left. And I mean, I, I'm always big. Well, sorry. I'm always big on truth. I mean, like if the kid says, where's my dad? And everyone else has a dad. I said, well, you know, it didn't work out between your dad and I. He he kind of disappeared, but it's okay. You know, I'm I'm here. I'm I'm both mom and dad. I'll, I'll take care of you. I'll take you to wherever you want to go. Is is it a boy or a girl? 
it's a boy, actually. Yeah, and and don't underestimate the connection a child has with their mother. I mean, uh, obviously, we always say on the show here, where's your dad, when when kids are making bad decisions and stuff. But the difference between the connect, the connection between the mother and the father are so different. The, the father, fine. I mean, there's guidance and there's all of these things, but but the connection with mom is so much stronger and and so much more important. And I really believe, like, if the father is left, I mean, you, you can do an, okay. a perfectly good job, and the kid's not going to have problems. Uh, well, my thing is this, though. I would, I would go after the guy. Like, I would do whatever it takes. Okay. Because there's a guy who says, like, how the fuck would he know? You guys had sex unprotected, and then he changes his number. I'd, I'd like you to go after that guy. I, I mean, contact the lawyer. See what you guys can do in terms of, you know, some sort of legal uh, aspect or legal action that, that he can maybe even get some support out of him. Even if he doesn't, I want him to know. I want his family to know okay. that he has a son that he ran away from. Like, whether it's his uh, parents, his siblings, like, people should know that okay. shit. I really believe that. I, I think you should go after that guy. Well, uh, what scares me more is uh, I don't know the real name of the guy i only knew him by first name so you know it really scares me a lot uh if the time comes that my child uh will ask for his father's name and uh, you know it, it's 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 a one night stand but yeah, uh, but anyway you're, you're right um maybe i someday i'll find a guy uh, you know, na makatanggap yung anak ko. It's just that what scares me is, uh, you know, yung, yung kahihiyan pa ng uh, well, listen, isang Listen, you don't have to tell your child it's a one-night stand. You, you can just say it didn't work out. I mean, there are ways to diplomatically okay, okay. And, and lie your way through saying it just didn't work out. He was my boyfriend. You know, you could say that. I mean, uh, you don't have to man say, I, okay. I just met him at okay. a club or something like that. It could be a lot less you know, scary of a story. Uh, I just say it didn't work out. You know, it's your boyfriend. He left. He's abroad. You can, you can, I really could totally come up with lies. If he says, what's his name? Just give a fucking fake name. And you know, <laughs> especially <laughs> okay. how, how weird, cause I was just saying how big I am on truth. But if you don't have his, if you don't know his real name, then, but see, there are ways. I mean, like, that's what I mean. Like if you contact a lawyer, and let's just kind of explore what some of, uh, what some of the right. ideas yes. are. Like, you never know. They, can, they might be able to look it up by cell phone number. You know, the guy's real name and his address and for legal purposes. You know, there, there are ways to find out. And I think it's definitely worth exploring. Go out there and try to find out who the fuck this guy is and really make sure okay. he knows that that's his child. Okay? Right. Right. Thank right. you, thank you, thank you, Mama. Bye, Chloe. Yeah, you, you never know, okay. man. You never know. Next week, next next week, you might meet a guy. Next month, next year, whatever. Who's gonna be such a great <laughs> father figure to to your baby? You never know. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. All right. All right. Okay. Bye, bye, love. All right. Bye, bye. Bye. Boy, one night stand pregnancies the worst. The worst. I'm trying to think if I've ever had a one-night stand and then unprotected sex. I think I have a couple times. And going through your mind the whole time is like, oh, shit, you better not come, asshole. <laughs> Stay in your mind. Fuck, you better not come. But most of you girls are pretty good about it now, right? I mean, I mean, in terms of like, well, I don't know. Shit. Maybe it's just the girls that like I've slept with compared to girls who call the show. But it, it does seem like these days, at least in my experience, the moment anything sexual is about to happen, like you can, like it, it's already kind of getting hot and heavy. It's the the girl f right away says, "Hey, by the way, no condom, no sex." It's like th they're so assertive about it, and that's great. I mean, it really has changed. I think then, say ten years ago or fifteen years, where so much of it is like the guy bringing up the conversation about condoms and stuff like that. But these days, I mean, really, with it, it just seems like right away it's like, hey, no condom, no sex, and and very casually, she just kind of says it. You know, girls are saying it, and that's good. It's good. It's good to good to see that confidence. All right, good, good stuff.
Um, where are we at here, kids? Who do we got? Are we taking a commercial break or what's the deal? Pico, where are we at? Uh, we have Anne on five. All right, Anne. Anne, line five. What's up? Hi, Anne. Hi, Mo. Sorry, it's just oh, there's so many calls here. There's so much information. I don't even know who's up anymore. But yeah, all right. Thanks, Anne. You're 21 Cebu. What's up, baby? Hi. Um, uh, I'm a student. Okay. I'm a student and uh, I met this guy last year. Yeah. While I was having a summer job in. Here's a guy from Manila. This guy's from Manila. Sure. And we worked together like around three weeks. In the, All right. It's also a one night stand. <laughs> All right. Lovely. And then I think the problem the problem here is that um, I got attached with this guy, and he asked and me then... to wait for him to come back in Cebu. And then here I am, parang medyo tanga and. Sabi ko, okay, I'll wait for you. And then it's almost uh, over a year already. And then here I am still waiting. And I don't know if yeah, I should no. wait for him. No, or... no, 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 no way. <laughs> nope. 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 I mean, you don't wait for one night stands. I mean, you don't wait that seriously. Like if, if, if you know, you, you date a guy, he's awesome. One night stand, you mean you met him that day. And all of a sudden he's like, wait for me. You can wait like a week. <laughs> and after that, it's really yeah, not. Really? I mean, how, often, how, much, how, much, how much are you conversing with him? You guys text every day? Do you call every day? Uh, not call really every week? day. Like he calls maybe thrice a week. Yeah. And, and if, yeah. if I were you, I, I'm, not, I'm not waiting anymore. I mean, not when you're 20 years old. You're 21 now, but you were waiting since you were 20 for a one night stand. I, I say no. Um, if he comes back, you can date him casually and all of that stuff. But in terms of falling in love for him and just kind of sitting there wasting a, a great age at 20, 21, that's bullshit, mm-hmm. man. I, if I were you, no. Definitely not. I'll stop this, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, unless, okay, well, unless there's nothing around. I mean, like, you know, if you don't mind. But if there are guys around who are asking you out and there are guys who you meet that are interesting and you cut them off because you're waiting for this guy, then no. But, I mean, if there's nothing else around, then yeah, there's a... You can still talk to him. You can still do shit like that. But don't le- don't close your doors on relationships or meeting other people because of this guy in Manila who hasn't come back in a fucking year. It's not like Manila's that goddamn far. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thanks, Mo. Then let me ask you this. Let me ask you a question oh, here yeah. because you said it was a one night yeah. stand. Um, when it came to the sex part, and who pulls out the condom? Who talks about the condom? Was it you or or the guy? I uh, was the one. Yeah, you see that? That's my point here. Girls these days, man, they'll come out, they'll throw the, they'll, they're the ones who are going to, I'm not saying they're the ones who always do it. It's, I like to see the confidence in them and where they go, hey guys, by the way, no condom, sorry. And I love it. <laughs> and how did it go? If I may, sorry, to bring you back that one night, what's the conversation yeah. like? So you and him making out, you probably have, he probably has his hand under your dress, right? You know, on your boob. Mm-hmm. You, you probably have mm-hmm. your hand on his dick. And then where where do you bring the question in? Where's the condom? Um, right. Before the thing happened, I mean, before going. Like you guys are already. Yeah. Oh, so you're already like blowing him at this point. Yeah. Nice. And then you go. Do you have a condom? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I like it safe. (laughs) Oh no! Definitely no. You have to have it safe. That's what I'm saying. It's just. On a one night stand, I like how the girls are taking control and going, Hey, by the way, this, this whole, uh, your dick must feel great right now in my mouth, but guess what? This is as far as it goes unless you pull out a condom. <laughs> this is good. All right. Th- thanks for the call, Ann. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Don't wait on this guy anymore. Okay. Thanks. thanks. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye bye. A lot of calls tonight. Let's see what you got here. Man attracted, uh, men she attracts are douchebags, 18 years old. 19, uh, torn between two guys. One fucks her hard, the other one makes love to her. <laughs> love it. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll talk to a few more girls here about uh, what's going on in their lives. It's a Monday night, 4th of November. Good times to know the podcast season two brought to you by Globe. Keep those calls coming in. 478-7954. Skype the Good Times podcast. Text us your 927-214-1981. Back after this. Stay t- 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 We'll return after this commercial break. Good 
stars, we're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. familiar with a with a game Chubby Bunny. But um what's, chub, what's like have you, have you played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you okay gonna ba. Okay. And you're gonna be like okay na okay na. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Okay, I'm gonna do it at a time. Okay, can I buy? What? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, can I buy? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> okay, can I buy? I can't, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. What you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this time of year, right? Elections. Yeah, you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> Children do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. Just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not we're able to, to verify all of these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically. <laughs> Now, number two, upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay. Cabin lights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lock all doors of vehicles during inspection. Since lock? Oh, lock. They might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking But that's doors. the thing. Okay. This is where they get you. And this is actually, I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yeah. this is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harass. Drugs are planted. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and, and other things, stories. you know. Um, mm. A Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh, yes, no. I've heard of that, you know. And there's no defense for that. It's just there's Bieber really no defense. Yeah, it's like, it's but Your Honor, we found this. I well, throw, throw the book at him. The then CD after that as well. You, have to, you know, then after that you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch James Lord Deacon and the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, 7:30 to 8:30 only here on the factory. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not... <laughs> Tears off! Tears off! Anyway, jaundice does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so jaundice. And I'm now Happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at this, the third of the Tayo. Do you want snacks? What is this? Like this? Then? 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 Okay, oh. may caution. A when, caution! When caution! What's that glamour thing? When oh. used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. Pura <laughs> 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 na, pura na siya. <laughs> oh my god! Damn! <laughs> Sorry, ma. Pamasa ng glamour! Ito talaga? Pwede <laughs> bago yan, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi <laughs> ka man nagkatap niyo.
But dapat pala caution mo na yung pinasa na <laughs> Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulls every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free. And for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like or all the shows you like. And once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it, you're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. So she hates me. <laughs> it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show on a very busy night, Monday night. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season two, brought to you by Globe. Speaking of Globe, hey, do you have any Globe related inquiries? Have your fellow subscribers uh, helped? Have your fellow subscribers help you by logging on to the Globe Online Community with more than ten thousand members to discuss and interact with you? You'll get your answers to commonly uh, asked questions quicker and easier. Be part of the fastest growing community. It's community.globe.com.ph and join that today. I'm there actually, so check it out. It's cool, and it's not just like troubleshooting it's a bunch of stuff it's just forums for things you're interested in and a lot of the times here on the show i always tell you meet people at these forums because like that's where i've met a lot of my more uh, recent friends from forums of things that i'm really uh, involved in interested in and it's a good way to really kind of like just even break the ice with uh, other people like I, I generally have a difficult time having small talk uh, with people initially and once uh, you know we get a good conversation going then you know I'm a lot more comfortable well, sometimes you can find these in, in in forums that you're interested in so check it out man the globe community the online community of globe again it's community.globe.com.ph all right, lots of calls tonight, man. So let's get to them. And all of them are so good. Uh, let's start with Carrie here, who is on line five, if I'm not mistaken. Carrie, you're 19 years old, a lot of teenagers, uh, and you're in Manila. What's going on, Carrie? On five. Hey. Hey, Carrie, what's up? Yeah, so my problem is I'm, I'm dating these two guys. I'm entertaining sure. them. And I, it's it's really crazy because they're like, both of my dream guys because sure. like this w one guy he fucks me really good the other uh -huh. he makes love and you know the the other one is really a bad boy the other one is really sweet and it was like more of a fubu at first and then sure then they started like they care and they say i love you and stuff and it's really crazy plus they are cousins and i don't think that they know <laughs> <laughs> that I'm playing them both. Um, so, my, my question is, should I, like, choose or should I just say goodbye? Um, to, to both of them? You want to yeah. say goodbye to both of them? Oh. Or, um, I, mean, I feel guilty. I definitely think, I definitely think you should choose. Um, I don't think you have to say goodbye to both of them if they've done nothing wrong. Like, you know, a part of life, in fact, is is this. It's like you see one, you see another, and then you kind of just pick and choose which one you want. Um, it, it's funny because it reminds me of that movie. Did you see that movie with Blake Lively? Um, yeah, yeah. I Savages. Know, I know. You know, but you got the one guy, and the line is almost the same. He's like, one guy fucks me hard, yeah, yeah. the other one fucking that, makes love to me. One's you know, cold metal, one's hot, that, whatever that, the fuck. That, it. That's why, that's why I, I called because I was like, I watched that movie last week and I was like, oh my God, 
I can relate. Yeah, but, the problem- a, but, but see, but see, the thing is, they're best friends in the movie and stuff like that. So it, it's kind of different. But, Yours is cousins, and they don't even know that they're both banging you. But, um, but the, go ahead. Sorry. Is, like, if I choose one of them, and what if there will be like a family outing or what, and I got invited, and I, you know. Well, I, that's why I definitely think you should choose one and then not kind of make it public just yet. Like, if you choose one and then maybe in a few months go by, then you can start telling everyone. Because then, you know, it's... It, uh, my, my thing is, are they very close cousins? Because it, it's kind of like breaking a bro code. It, but at the same time, at this point, shouldn't have they talked about you already? Like, shouldn't they be saying, man, I'm banging this fucking girl. Her name is uh, Carrie. She's 19. She's fucking hot. I'm being like, fucking like, bang the fuck on her. You know, and then the other guy's, really? Because I'm banging a girl named Carrie, too. But, you know, we make sweet love. <laughs> you know, I mean, haven't they shared stories yet about you? I don't know. I don't, I don't think they're that close. But, you okay, know. If that, okay, if that's the case, I'll do this. I would pick one. And then tell him, you know what? I think one of your cousins used to like court me, but don't please don't say anything. Cause say you know you can kind of say that so he doesn't ever bring it up to the other cousin. I feel I feel guilty because I kept on lying to like to the both of them. I'm gonna lie for some more. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what happens when you're banging two cousins that don't know. I mean, there's gonna be a lie, and there might have to be one more small lie on top of the other. It's it, love. Wait, listen. It's your life. I mean, I'm not going to tell you to do this and do that. I'm just saying I would prefer, if I were you, if you and you you said it when you called the show. I've met two of my dream guys. Well, don't waste that opportunity. Yeah. Date date one of them. It's better to have one than zero. So pick the one you like the most. Whether it's the guy that blows your fucking mind or it's the guy that makes love to you, <laughs> either you you can pick either or. Just don't have them at the same time too long because obviously, yes, they're going to get upset if they find out what happened and all that shit. Pick one. Tell them another short lie about how the other cousin kind of liked you at one point. But, you know, that it goes that far. Don't say anything. You're his girlfriend now and leave it at that. Who, who would you choose if, you know, someone... I have no idea because you, all you've told me is how much, how good they, how great they fuck you. So I don't know what they are like in terms of um, personality. Based, I don't know. You based know, on that. Which, um, based on that, um, <clears throat> I'd go with the one who makes love to you. I guess. I mean, but you're nine. You're nineteen. Uh-huh. Right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You're. Pre- you sound pretty horny because of your low voice. So, <laughs> if just go with the guy. Okay. How about this? Go with the guy who has the most money. Because then you get to do more shit. Yeah, I think right? that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, go with the guy with the most money. Because they're both satisfying you sexually. It, it, they're just different ways to go about it. Yeah. But if they're both satisfying you sexually, go with the better looking guy who, or the guy who's got a little bit more money. Then at least you have I, more I activities. Think, yeah, I think so. I'll, I'll choose right. the guy with more money. <laughs> and who's the guy with more money? The one that fucks you hardcore or the, or the other one? The other one. Makes the... He's, He's got the more. Oh, Miko. Yeah, go with Miko. <laughs> sure. Who's got the bigger dick? The one who fucks you like a jackhammer or the other one who's really nice in bed? The one who fucks you real good. He's got the bigger dick. Is it a really big difference? Like his dick is like really much bigger? Not really. It's like around six. And the other guy is like around five or something. Yeah, yeah that's fine. That's fine. Go with the guy with money. So money's always fine. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, baby. Now send us your photo. <laughs> oh my god! Pico, sure. attack! Come yeah. on, you're a shark. Don't you smell blood in the water? I do. I'm just waiting for you. So I know it's <laughs> formality. Who's Miko? Pico. He's got a bigger dick. Okay. He's, he's, then both yeah. the both of them combined. Yeah, uh, he's got, he's got it. Pico. Yeah. yeah hi. <laughs> tweet me. We'll, we'll get your details. Yeah. Send us a little tweet. Just <laughs> send us a tweet. Just send us, yeah. Just say how about this? Tweet me and put the word jackhammer there, so I know it's you. Okay. But everyone will know it's me. No, no one's gonna know because they're not listening right now. This is not a. This is not streamed. This is recorded. So just tweet me. Just tweet me jackhammer. I just want to know which one you are. Okay. 
And then you can erase it. Basta yeah. makita ko lang. It's just me and Mo. We're, we're, yeah, just we're mo, the ones yeah, just, who's gonna... Ano, just Pico here and I, okay? Yeah. And he eats a lot of salad. So you know what that means. Really? All right, baby. Okay. Yes, really. Okay. Now hang up and, and send us a tweet. We just want to know. All right? All right, baby. I'll think Keep about going. it. <laughs> All right, bad girl. Get out of here. Okay. All right, bye. bye-bye. These teenagers, man. What are you going to do, Pico? Am I at Freddy level yet? Like Freddy Aguilar level? I mean, if I got a 19 year old girl like that, just saying, hey, hey, yeah, hey, no, oh, what's that's up? all pretty good. Blah, blah. And I'm th- and I'm 30, you know, 30 plus. I mean, is is am I Freddy Aguilar already? No, that's they're 19. Go for minors. But I know Freddy Aguilar. Go for no, 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 no. I'm I'm serious. I'm asking you advice now, as as like as I've, I've, this is your show, and I'm calling in. So hey, here's my problem. Hi, uh, this is Mo. Uh, hello, hello, yes, yes. hello. Pico, you be Hi. me. P- oh yeah, P- Pico and Ange, be, mo- be me, okay, you guys, uh, let's, let's, let's turn the tables. I want to hear what I sound like. Hi. Hey, All right, here hey, we go. Hey, welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello? Yes, hello, Mo. From, hello, Chappie. From Quezon City. Hello? Yeah. Uh, sorry, that's, Hi. that's Pico's fault. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's a nice little twist. Okay. Hi, um, I'm so nervous. I can't believe I'm talking to you. Okay, uh... Listen, I um, here, my problem is like this, no? Uh, there are girls, I'm 19, 20, 21, they kind of flirt with me, but I'm 36. Uh, is it, does that make me Freddie Aguilar if I want to fuck them? No. Thank they're, you. They're legal. They're send legal me, send us a picture to confirm if... Uh, okay, you're fuckable or not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, send us a picture. Yeah, and then tweet me Jackhammer, and yeah, I'll know it's Jackhammer. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Let's go to uh, who do we got here? Francesca, eighteen year, another eighteen year old man. These guys they're they're coming in young. Um, Francesca, you're eighteen. You are in Manila. What's up? Yeah. Line six. Um, hey, friend. Okay. What do you got, friend? Francesca. Okay. Um, I actually yeah. sent uh, like. Two messages, so I'm not sure which I'm supposed to. Uh, you are the girl yeah. that's attracted to douchebags, and they spam you uh, questions regarding nude photos of yourself. Is that uh, that's you? That okay. Right? Um. Yeah. Go first ahead. of all, I am not attracted to douchebags. Douchebags are attracted to me for some reason. Oh, excuse me. I apologize. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Good, and I'm glad. That's that's better. That that it's yeah. that way. Okay. So douchebags are attracted to you, and then? Uh, it's kind of becoming a problem because, like, it's really bothering me. Mm-hmm. Because, like... Sorry, I, I think your cell phone's a little fucked up here. But, yeah, okay, continue. So it's starting to bother you. Sorry? Uh, your Hello. cell phone's a little uh, scratchy here. Okay, so douchebags are attracted to you, and it's bother- it's becoming a problem because... Because it's bothering me because I don't... I don't understand why I attract that kind of people. Are you good looking? People say that I am. Here's let me let me give you a little lesson in life, uh, young one. Okay. Uh, when you're hot, you're not just attractive to douchebags. You're attractive to everybody. It's just douchebags have a lot more confidence than your normal guy. So okay. it, 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 while it feels like only assholes like you, it's only because assholes are assholes and they have no shame and they'll just jump on on any opportunity. It, it, it looks like only those guys like you, but that's not true. When you're an attractive female, a hot, young, attractive female like yourself, I'm telling you, a lot of people like you. It's just okay. not a lot of people have what it takes to be a douchebag and go up to you with lines and moves and all of these things. And to you, you're sitting there going, fuck, what the fuck are all, everybody who likes me are assholes. That's not true. It's just assholes are the ones who are always so aggressive about things. If you relax a little bit and, and wait a little while, you'll see there are quality men there that are gonna really wanna date you. But you know, again, it, it, it'll come in age. You'll, you'll see this in time. Okay. That and you know you're 18. By the time you're 25, you'll be able to weed out which ones are just there because they want a piece of your ass, and which ones are there because they genuinely like you. Now it's it's becoming a problem because you're also getting flooded for requests of nude photos of you. 
Sorry. Well, what's the whole nude pictures part of this whole question? Oh, because I have this, well, I wouldn't say friend, like more of an, of an acquaintance because like, uh, we used to text a lot and then sure. but all of a sudden he would like send um, pictures of his junk. Yeah, that's a douchebag. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. <laughs> you're hanging out <laughs> with these guys. Uh, the moment that happens, you have to tell him, A, he's got a small dick. And then B, that shit's not for you. Like, he's a douchebag. And not only are you not going to give him at the time of day, no girl will give him a time of day if he does shit like that. Right. So th that, that kind of has to be clear. Because if not, I mean, you're just going to – you need to do society a service and tell them to fuck off. Because then they're going to douchebag the next girl and the next girl and the next girl. But you're right. I mean – an acquaintance, a guy like that, you just have to understand that he's an asshole. But it doesn't mean that all guys are assholes. It's just aggressive guys like that are assholes. And they right. can't control themselves because you're really good looking. That's the, you know, being super hot is there's nothing like being born an attractive female. It's the greatest thing life can give you. Okay. Being born into this world as super hot, trust me, life for you is the greatest. The only downside of it is you're going to have to deal with a bunch of guys wanting to show you their dick, a bunch of guys trying to hit on you so they can sleep with you. That's that's the reality, but that's a small price to pay for being born incredibly hot. Like if I was really really good looking and then I would never complain like for example like some other guys, pare daming bakla lumalapit sa akin, pare daming, you know, I'll be like, "Eh, I understand." I get it. Okay. It's a small price to pay for being this good looking. So just stay away from it. When a guy sends okay. you a picture of his dick, insult his penis and say, That's a small fucking that's a small fucking dick and I don't want I don't want any part of that. <laughs> All right. All right. Are you still a virgin, Francesca? Sorry? Are you still a virgin? Yeah. All right, good for you. Keep it that way. <laughs> Guys are gonna be okay. salivating all over you. <laughs> All right. All right, baby doll. Rock on. Okay. Thanks, for, thanks for the call. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, You're welcome. Bye-bye. <sighs> Man, these fucking assholes. Fucking it up for everybody. That's a problem with these, these guys, man. That's why you girls, you got to put a stop to that. Because they're fucking it up for all of us. Now you get these people, these girls going, oh, all guys are assholes. No, that's because those guys are assholes. They don't represent us. Juno, line two, 24 years old. Hey, Juno, Quezon City. What's going on, buddy? Hi, um, Mo. Um, yeah, I called because not because of a problem, but more on a professional advice. Sure. We'll so, take anything yeah, here. You know, I know that you've been doing radio broadcasting all your life, and you know, I just wanted to ask because um, my friends and I, we've been running this um, NBA-related podcast for over a year already. We've, we're all sure. already in our 38th episode. You know, we've had um, guests like Sir DJ Manolta on the show, but you know, I just wanted. To when ask, are you going like, to get me on the show? Come yeah, on, man. I, I mean, want you know, to. I'm a, you know, I, I yeah, want. I want to get you on the show. <laughs> I'll, just I'll tweet let, me. I'll I'm, let, I'm um, there. DJ know about it, but you know, um, the question is like, how exactly do you let people know about your podcast? Like, how do you get? Um, what advice can you give those people who who are doing what we do? Because you know, in the Philippines, not really that popular here. Um, not a lot of people do it here, so you know, I, right. I know you've been doing it for a long time already. So, how do you reach out to a lot of people? Because you know, we're, we've been having a hard time getting letting people know about us. You know, people. Well, you know, you you brought it up, Juno, uh, a second ago. You said you had guys like TJ Manontok on the program. So let's let's okay, let's take that. Let's say okay, it's TJ. What's TJ's uh, reach in terms of? Social media, it's 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 pretty it's pretty impressive. I mean, let's say TJ Manotok's Twitter. Uh, let me see here. Um, hundred, two hundred thousand followers, perhaps. If I was gonna guess, if I was a betting man, I mean, it would be anywhere in that area. And what do you what what is what do you hope for TJ to do for you? He gets on your show, talk a little hoops. He gets to uh, promote his product, which is say 
his own podcast or his own show, uh, his but he does play by play and he tweets about it. just say hey sir tj can you do me a favor can you tweet that you were on our bo- basketball podcast this is our you know title and then he will and then like, i who follow tj i follow tj on twitter i'll read it i go oh hey there's a basketball podcast that's how i'm going to get interested in it i want to check it out i like basketball so i'll listen to it and then i'll i'll find out whether the product is good or not so when you guess guys like TJ, or let's say me, uh, down the line, if you, in fact, you, and I'll accept, I promise, if you, if you invite me, I accept. This is really desperate of me to try to get on a basketball podcast. No one takes me, no one takes me, uh, seriously when it comes to basketball, unfortunately, but I can hold my own, I promise. Um, you know, I have 850,000 followers or whatever. You know, if you tweet me and say, hey, can you be on our show? Then I'm like, okay. And then you go, can you tweet that you're going to be on it and for people to download it on iTunes? I'll be like, sure. So I'm like, hey guys, I'm on half, like, what is it? What'd you say your, your title yeah, of your podcast it's is? It's the, the Half Court Heave podcast. Yeah, the Half Court Heave uh, podcast. Then people will go on iTunes and type it, and then that's how you get it. But see, the, the key here is not just promoting your product. It's having a good product. And what does that mean when it comes to podcasting? For all you other people who want to put a podcast out, it really comes down to two things. Number one, your technical side. So important. Pico, God damn it. So important. Yeah, I know. The ability to have quality microphones, to be at the same level as all your co-hosts, to be crisp, to not – like, like you know, I, for example, while I give Pico a hard time jokingly, it's not – I mean, after – you know, off air, him and I are like – I fucking love this guy. But it's true, though. Your tech side has to be sound. Your internet has to be sound. Your – the, the phone calls sometimes here on the show when they're calling from a cell phone. I know we have no control over that because they're on a cell phone and it, it, it's, it's, you know, we rely on however s- strong their signal is wherever they're at, but it plays a, it plays a part on the quality of the program, how good your tech side is. Yeah. And it has to be good. I mean, it can't be, sh- it can't be like, ah, but now they can hear us. Think about it as this. When you're watching a YouTube video, What's more important in YouTube? Is it the video or is it the audio? It's the, the audio. audio. That's the key, man. Like, you can watch a fucking YouTube, you can watch a video with no sound. It's fine. But if you watch a video with crappy sound, you give up on it. The yeah, audio is so fucking important. Do not ever forget it. All of you people. You want to put a podcast up together? If you, if it's not soundproof the room, the people will know. They'll hear it and it'll bother them and they'll tune out immediately. So the key, especially when you have multiple hosts, and this is the number one problem most podcasts have. I think what happens is this. They get, they have one microphone and there's three of them. And then they put it in the middle of the three of them and the three of them go, that's the worst fucking thing you can do. Because if I'm listening, I'm listening to hollow, unleveled audio and I'm done. I'm done. I don't care what you say. I don't care who you have on the show. You could have fucking LeBron on your show. And LeBron, if you sound like this, hi, LeBron, welcome to the show. I'm like, fuck it. I don't care who the fuck is there. The quality of the audio has to be on the same level for everybody. That means everybody has to have a microphone each. All the microphones should be the same brand and model. It should be mixed in together. And these, you know, it's easy. It doesn't, it, it sounds difficult, but it's not. It's actually very easy to have all of these things work for you. You cannot have a puedena attitude about it though. You can, ah, may one mic, oh, puede na yan. Sige, ikaw, nasa Skype ka, ikaw, isang, ikaw, huwakan mo yung microphone, tapos yung isa nasa Skype. No way. Different quality level. Can't be done. Yeah. Like you guys are a different quality. Like for example, you, Juno, you sound different, but you're a caller. The host all have to sound exactly the same in terms of their levels and the quality of their audio. Or else you're gonna, or else you're gonna fail. It's really, really important. Yeah, but and the again, problem go, is, you know, so um, with regards to our podcast, since we're doing you know, cross continental, since my um, co-hosts are in the United States, you know, okay. I think the internet quality has an effect on the audio quality that we've been producing. Not necessarily. No, not necessarily because I'm I'm in the U.S. You're in the Philippines. Why do we we sound we sound all right? Like, look at Pico. Pico, get your get your sorry ass up here again. Or, sure. or Ange. No. Yeah. See now 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 level yourself, Pico. Where we sound like we're in the same room together. Uh, there. there. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah. we, we well, obviously there's background noise because they're not in the soundproof area like we're in. But you get what I mean? It's like it can be done with crisp quality. It doesn't matter where you are. I host a radio show on Magic. I sound like I'm fucking standing right next to Susie when I am. Yeah. It, it, you know why? We have the same exact microphone. When you look at when you look at uh, the setup I have here and the setup at Magic, it's the same. Now, if your problem is internet, you're saying, oh, the internet's not pushing it. Have the guys in the U.S. carry the conversation. So say you're recording it via Skype, have them facilitate the Skype work. So at least, you know, the, the, the stronger internet is doing the heavier pulling. And, you know, if, if the soundproof is your problem, there are these little kind of like shields that you can put around your microphone that your head, it's kind of like a helmet. Yeah. And you put it, you put it around you. It kills all the sound. You don't have to have a super setup. Kung lang video. If this is an audio podcast, yeah, that, we, we that works. Used to have a video, but right now, um, yeah, we've invested more on in the audio because yeah, the audio is the way to go, man. Like even on this podcast, I, I'm I'm so much more pro audio than I am pro video about how things work, and and it's good because that means you don't have to worry about audio, a video quality, which is another fucking nightmare. So stick to audio. Try to soundproof the room a little bit for all of you guys who's involved in the show. Try to, if you can't soundproof the room, get that little thing I'm talking about. It's not that expensive. You just put it in front of you. It's a nice little dome, uh, helmet looking thing that you put around you to kill all, to kill a lot of the sound. Make sure you guys have the same microphones. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be big time microphones, just as long as they're kind of the same. Um, yeah. maybe a, a simple mixer, again, really cheap that the guy in the U.S. who's pushing all of that stuff can help out with. What else, Pico, do you need to, to put up some sort of quality audio podcast? Um, a good tech person like me. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need that shit. You can do that on your own. <laughs> if it's not live, it's so much easier. I, I record interviews all the time using my Skype. And the phone, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's I think doable. we need to invest more on the equipment. But yeah. It's not that much. Yeah, we'll be doing that. But another thing that I wanted to ask is in the content, because you know, I think um, Filipinos, more um, they, they like controversy. Because you know, I've been thinking about trying to be more controversial on our podcast because you know we, we talk about the NBA and if you if, if people listen to our latest episodes we've been I've been quite um outspoken regarding a few players I've been talking a few a, a bit um a bit harsh towards a few players so do you think controversy contributes to that like uh it does when you're popular but it doesn't when you're not like when you're not popular, it's just going to be some guy talking out of his ass. But if you're popular, it people who people kind of um, they respond to your opinion, then it it'll do it'll be all right. I, I think the way to go though in terms of getting credibility is try to get a media pass. Try to get interviews with some of the players, yeah, whether it be been, phone interview. Yeah, we've been uh, rejected a few times already. You know, we've. Yep. Um, TJ in the states, he is, he emailed it already to I think Golden State Warriors. They tried to get a media pass for us, and you know when the Houston Rockets and Indiana Pacers came here, you know we also tried to push for that, and you know we we got rejected a couple of times already. But we are, we also have a friend from Australia who's doing a podcast about the NBA as well, and yeah, they they've been rejected a few times, and right now. After a few years, they're already popular. People in the NBA know about them already. So I think... Yeah, you stick with it. Yeah, that's also what they said. So yeah, we're going to stick <clears> with <throat> it. But, you know, it's it's tough. It's very tough. I think it's more on the going pains of the podcast. It's it is. It is. New. And, and, and have something kind of fresh and new about it. Like, like I don't know, if you lean towards a... F- have a part of it that does fantasy because fantasy is such a big deal or have a part where, you know, where it's not so reliant on your analytical skills because everybody does that, you know, try to, you know, to try to have it where you have little segments and stuff like that. I think that are specific for a certain topic regarding basketball and people tend to respond a little bit more about that. Like if you have topics like who's the best siblings, NBA tandem in the history of the game, you know, and then, you know, people could like, oh, obviously the Gasol brothers. Oh, but the Lopez's are really good. And this and, the, you know, you kind of you throw out specific topics. It, it, it's easier to get the response from people. 
Like, like I said, like a topic, like who's the greatest brother NBA tandem of, of all time? The tandem, not meaning they played for the same team, but they're the, the, the two most talented siblings to ever play in the NBA. There's, there's quite a few. And that could be, again, a topic of conversation. That's true. And all of a sudden, you, you, you've dedicated, you know, 20 minutes, that whole second, to just that topic alone, which not a lot of people do because it's a specific topic. And then whether you talk about the Lopez's or the Gasol's or the Griffins or the Grants or the Collins, I mean, you, you sit there, you dissect the pros uh, of, of each group, and then all of a sudden now you have a show. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we're, so, we're going yeah, we're, we're to we're try to incorporate, since it's just the start of the season, we're, we're going to try incorporating some segments into the show to make it more, yeah, the, the, the show to be more lively and to have more interaction with right. with. With people who okay, listen to our but show. one last thing here, and I gotta go back to it because again, you, listen, all of you people, you do do never ever ever underestimate the need for perfect or excellent technical, like technical setup. The you can have all the great segments you want. You can have just the fucking fantastic topics. You can again have LeBron. You can have all of these things. The moment it sounds like shit, you're done. Trust yeah. me, nobody. Is gonna listen to you, okay? Yeah. All right, buddy. Thanks for All the right. call. Thank you. All right, Judo. Have a good All one, man. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Let's take a break. When we come back, more of your calls. Four seven eight seven nine five four. Skype the Good Times Podcast. Text us two nine two seven two one four nineteen eighty one. Technical, technical, technical. Isn't that right, Pico? Yep. That's why you get paid the big bucks, buddy. Yep. <laughs> Baller money. <laughs> baller but he's here just to fuck chicks that's what he comes here for to meet girls with love problems and he'll fix them with his dick stay tuned we'll return after this commercial break good all-stars we're always on the move it's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers, we still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes may mga biglaang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, with the game Chubby Bunny, but um... What's like... Have you played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny, and you keep putting it in your mouth, and you keep okay. saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not going to say Chubby Bunny. We're going to say, we're going to have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, okay ka na ba? Okay. And you're going to be like, okay na okay na. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Go. Two at a time? Or I'll go two at a time. Okay ka na ba? What? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, so you're both? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> okay, can you go? I know, I just want to know. Okay. Okay. No, you're not going to got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not... <laughs> Tears up! Tears up! Anyway, jaundice does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so jaundice. And I'm now Happy to present to you, Carl Lutario. Look at me, the third of it. So many snacks. What is this? 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 What is this?
Ayan, <laughs> para sa show mo, ha? O. Oh. Rico, ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba ito? Oil absorbing? Pwede ba itong pang nose line? <laughs> Tito oh. K, may caution. A when, caution! When caution! Basta ng glamour, te! When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> Na, <laughs> oh my god! Damn! Oh my Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lols every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. My friend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. This is one of the busier nights we've had in a really long time. There are a ton of calls, and uh, we're definitely not going to get through all of them. But I appreciate it. I, I, maybe because it's a weekend. People had a lot of love problems over the weekend. But we appreciate all your phone calls, everyone. Thank you so much. 478 7954 is our phone number. Write that down. Keep it close to you. So every time some douchebag teenager fucks you over, give us a call and we'll straighten that shit out. Um, uh, let's get to another interesting question. Well, again, a lot of young people tonight. And uh, this changes nothing here with Vera, who's 20 years old in Malabon. She's on line six. Hi, Vera. Welcome to the show. How can we help you? Good evening, po. Good evening, Vera. How can I help you, love? Kasi po, may family na po ako ngayon. Ngayon po, meron po po yung other guy na parang kapit na po. 54 years old na po siya na kapit tayo ng hindi namin. Teka lang, may, 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 wait, 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 wait. wait. You're, tw- you're 20 years old. May asawa ka na? So, lead-in lang po, hindi po kami kasali. Pero may anak kayo? Opo. Isa. Yeah, you sound like it. Yeah, she's, doesn't she sound like a mom? I mean, like she's... Hold on one second. Compare Vera's voice at 20 to say Anne, who called a few minutes ago at 21. You can see the difference of having children. Lesbian. Right? Lesbian. How dare you, you lesbian freaking whore. How dare you say that? She heard that. Can't you just no, fucking pico, put in a... Pico, how dare you, you fucking... You, you people are fucking awful. Awful, awful human beings. So, just uh, wait. You know what? I hope... No, I it hope, was Pico. I hope... I hope your boyfriend explodes some sort of terrorist vest in your vagina. <laughs> I hope, I hope your, your, your boyfriend goes homeland on your veg. Okay? Now get out of here, Anne. She fucking awful person. Sorry, sorry, Vera. So you're 20, boyfriend, live in, may anak kayo, tapos may isang guy na kapit bahay mo, 54 years, 54 years old. Ano ginagawa niya? Ano po, pag wala po yung asawa ko, nakikita po kami. Lumalabas like po. Like kayo? Pero pag wala lang po. Pero pag nandito po, hindi po kami nagahin. Ah, so kung wala hindi kayo. Oh, okay. Kung wala hindi kayo friends. Yes. Pero pag nawawala yung boyfriend mo. Ano? Pero ano? Nagsasex kayo? Oh, alright. Okay, so what's the question? Ano yung tanong? Ano daw? Ano Pinakilala ko po siya ngayon sa ano, sa umari ng match. Pero kung ngayon gito po kasi pinakilala ko agad siya, binigyan agad siya ng first thing. So pinakilala mo sa sa tita mo? Opo, parang gano'n. Kita ko na rin po. So pin- pinakilala mo yung neighbor yung neighbor mo na sinesex mo na 54 years old sa Opo. tita mo. Tapos sila, nagsasex ngayon sila? Hindi pa po. Malabas-labas lang po. Ay, yun yung nagsasex na yan. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ilan taon naman ni tita mo? Ano po? 27. Ah, okay. So mahilig talaga sa younger girls. I like this guy. So what's the question? 
Nasaselos ka or what? Hindi ko yung option gusto kong tanong kasi hindi ko po alam kasi hindi ba naman po siya mahal. But para po may inisip ko. So, hindi malabas well, sa akin sa inyo. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like this. Uh, oh, I'm going to put you on hold because her telephone quality shit and it's fucking my ears up. Sorry, thanks. Um, it's like this. You you don't love the guy, but why are you jealous that your aunt is uh, probably fucking him too? It, it, it's it's like this. It's For example, uh, remember when I liked the song Royals by Lord, and I would tell the staff, Pico, Ange, remember, remember this shit? I'd be like, hey, there's this awesome yeah. song. Yeah. But don't tell anybody about it because I don't want to share it. You don't want to share things you find. It, it's, it's almost human nature. Don't share it. And, and so this guy well, who you don't love, you kind of shared him and then all of a sudden people are – see, okay, first I wanted to share the song Royals with the staff members, right? So I was like, oh, Pico, listen to this shit. It's awesome. Ange, listen to this. But the problem is, while we want to share it because we want to take credit for discovering it, quote unquote, we hate that people now like it. And that, that, that's not our intention. Our intention is for you guys, my friends, to enjoy it. And all of a sudden, you shared it with other people, the guests, and all of a sudden, now it's a big hit. I'm not saying we're responsible for the big hit. I'm just, that, that's not what, that's not the point. The point is, it's going to be a hit, but, I wanted to keep it as small a circle as possible, and now the Jejemons have taken over it, and now it's fucked it up. So when you find something that's cool and you like it, you kind of want to tell people about it, but you don't want them to like it. And when they like it, you get mad or you feel jealous. That's human nature. Happens all the time. Happens to a beach spot, for example, like say the movie The Beach. Remember that movie? With DiCaprio, they find a beach spot. It's awesome. They want to share it within a very small group of people. But if one person fucks up and other people start liking it, then we're, we're screwed. Same thing. You want to keep it to yourself. I, I, I mean, you can find an example everywhere. Food. Oh, there's this great restaurant. Man, I want to take, I'm going to take my friends there. Nobody knows about it. Hole in the wall. And then putang ina yana. In a few weeks, may nag, may nag, may nag, uh, may nag promote or one of your friends spilled the beans. All of a sudden, may pila na sa favorite restaurant, a hole in the wall. All of a sudden, you're waiting outside. Everybody likes it. It becomes J. Cole bullshit donuts or fucking IHOP. Fuck. Somebody likes it now. Same thing. Happens all the time. So, Vera, your tita's probably fucking this guy too. And you need to assess in your life what you really want out of this. I mean, why are you cheating on your boyfriend? I mean, maybe you guys aren't maybe you guys shouldn't live in together. But that's a different issue. Thanks for the call. And we'll we'll, we'll, we'll hang up on her now. Ah, 20 years old, man. Ugh, see, her she sounds like she's fucking 50. Next call. Who do we got? Kids, who do we have? Star? Yep. Star on line five? Yes. Kainta, 21 years old also. Hi, Star. Hi. Hi, Mo. What's up, baby? Yeah, all right. I have a problem regarding um, my first boyfriend, who's already an ex. So let's call him Mark. He became my first boyfriend, and I met him in med school. Sure. Um, yeah, Hello. Yeah, go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah, okay. So we became a couple last October 11, which was the last day of the first sem. But after three days, surprisingly, we broke up because he apparently has a girlfriend of four years. And I was surprised because none of his med school barcada knew about it. Only one friend of his who uh, went to the same college as him. All right. And... Uh, even though we lasted for three days, I was <laughs> really foreign and I, I already gave him everything, my V-card and everything. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. I know you're mad at No, that. no. <laughs> hey, listen, it's fine. It, you, you didn't know. Continue. Yeah. And, and you, you use your virginity. <laughs> awesome. All right. And, mm -hmm. and his girlfriend, Kristen, found out about it and they broke up, but then they got back together eventually. Okay. And so the issue here is he keeps coming back to me. 
and I entertain him despite the fact that he and Kirsty are together. Yeah. And I actually, I couldn't help it. I, I met up with him twice and slept with him twice since of we course. broke up. Yeah. yeah. And he tells me he would choose me, but he's having a hard time leaving that four year relationship. Uh, sure. So um, the problem here is um, uh, he would keep communicating with me and I really don't have the guts to stop it. But now that I'm really, really tired of the situation, I really want to end it already. So what's the way, what's the best way to end it with a bang? With a bang? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean with a bang? With something that's positive for you? Something that's scandalous for everybody? Like, <laughs> what's what I does mean, a bang mean to you? Is it like okay. literally? Do you want to sleep with him one more time to go you know, I mean, out no, into the sunset? I mean, what uh, do you want? Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, I just, I, I want him to uh, kind of... Uh, I want to exact revenge on him because yeah, he keeps that's my screwing girl. with me. Yeah, and yeah. I want I kind of want his girlfriend to find out about it, but I'm not sure, so I'm asking for your advice. Well, again, you know, listen, people call about this problem. Well, first of all, I want to point this out. You're a med school student, and I want everyone to know, see, you could be incredibly smart and still be stupid at the same time. <laughs> you know? Yes. It's, it's the, you know, these problems aren't just for dumb people. It happens for everybody. So at least, you know, take solace in that. Um, uh, number two, I, we get this problem all the time. And my own, my very first response to it each and every time is this. What's well, let me let me test my staff to see if they are uh, paying attention. And Pico, when it's mm -hmm. you know the scenario, yeah, boyfriend is banging girl on the side. Girl on the side is so weak and so you know infatuated with him, even mm -hmm. though he's got a girlfriend. But now she wants revenge. What's the number one thing I say? Uh, screenshot. Screenshot. That proof. The conversation. Yeah. Proof. The, yeah. yeah. Proof yeah, I have is some of his the best. Here. Perfect. And does it say all of those things like sex you up and all of these kind of like I want you bad and, and all of these things? I unfortunately deleted those, but I have yeah. some text like telling okay. he, with him telling me he loves me. And I also have um, his the history of his calls to me. Pictures. No pictures. Okay. Do me a favor. <clears throat> you black and I'm black and lead him on. So text them. Say, I have a question for you. Who's better in bed, me or your girlfriend? Just really okay. kind of like. Make it so he's <laughs> bad mouthing her and stuff like okay. that, and you save that, and then you send it to the girl, and then okay. ask maybe ask for a dick photo or something like that. Really sell your case <laughs> and in grabbing all this awful proof, and then you kind of package it and send it to not just his girlfriend, but maybe his parents and okay. and his friends, and really go all out here. Okay. Like. like um, mm -hmm. Because, you know, for this girlfriend to uh, to forgive him the first time means she might forgive him a second time if it's yeah. not as scandalous. So you got to make it as scandalous as possible. Really get it where he's bad mouthing his girlfriend. Like, am I in better in bed? And don't don't be affected by anything he says. He's gonna say he's gonna say anything. He's such an asshole. He'll say anything. So he's probably gonna bad mouth his girlfriend mm -hmm. the entire okay. time. Save all of that stuff. All right, so do I have to meet up with his girlfriend or a text is enough? Um, I preferably, preferably I'd, I'd meet up just so you can kind of transfer that. And, and at least it's different because say when you meet the person that mm -hmm. is sleeping with your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband and your wife, you know, it, it's different. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes if it's just a text message, they can, they can kind of manipulate you in, uh, not you as the, I'm talking about if you were the girlfriend, they'll manipulate you into believing that that person's not real. That person was just an online, you know, spam kind of thing. But when you meet up with them and you see that that person is in fact real and that person has feelings and all of these things, it really sells it a little bit more for okay. you. So okay. I think a, uh, accumulate a lot of proof, a lot of bad mouthing bullshit that he's done, transfer it over to the girlfriend in person. All right. Perfect. I think it's the way to go. Yeah. Okay. Now, Thank now, you so much, Mark. If you can, if you can ask him shit like, see, here's me, because I'm fucking nuts about this mm -hmm. stuff. I'd be like, S what's his name? What's the guy's name? You um, can tell me his let's name. Call fucking, him. He screwed. Uh, okay. All right. Mark. Marco. Well, okay. So, Marco, do you have any sex tapes with your girlfriend? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Can I see them? So he'll then send it to you, and then you show the girlfriend thinking, "Mopino promoto ni mga sex tape." You know, I mean, really, <laughs> just get awful about okay. it. Okay. All right. I'll do that.
Yeah. Good girl, man. Good job. Now, now, uh, you guys are, but you guys are med school students together. He's your classmate. Yeah, he is. Ah, oh, fuck. How are you gonna? Well, if you can tolerate seeing him in class and stuff, then good luck. Yeah, I can. I can. I will I'll manage. All right. Thanks, Mo. Right, your word was only needed. Ah, oh, well, hey, do it. Congratulations, and I'm glad that you're getting out of this. And good luck to you. And and I hope it works out well. And it, if it works out really great and like you know, pang viral video talaga, then call us back. I want. We'd like to hear about it. Okay, sure. All right, baby. Thanks bye. for the call. Bye. All right. Okay. Bye. 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 What's the uh, uh, Pico? What was the one uh, a couple years back where it was in the mall? Uh, the girl sees the boyfriend with a girl, and they start whooping ass. It was on video. Yeah. What was that? Uh, that was the girl saw her boyfriend. Yeah, with another, with the other girl, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But didn't somebody set it up where they see each other, like fucking? I forgot. I forgot but how it, that went. Yeah, I think it, it went really viral. That was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> okay, so, okay, we got to break this down here, kids. Before we take the next call, what's the greatest viral video of like just common people uh, in Philippine history? Mm. There's Amalier. There's that video. There's that fucker who fell off the fucking building uh, the other yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. There's... Uh, what's the one on the street? The fighting one? Was it? Who's the Chinese guy? The the one who oh, was the, with the, the MMDA? Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, the the Lao. Yeah. The, there's the wait, wait, wait. There's the Claudine video though. The fucking fighting. One. Oh yeah, in, in the airport. But see, that's that's not. The, yeah, I was saying like just regular people. Yeah. The reason why that's yeah that that became thing because they were celebrities. Like you can't say oh Mo you're private because it's only popular because we're celebrities. I don't know about just a guy just got out there. It was such a huge viral hit. And then give me a couple more. I have to be a couple more, the right? The fat guy who beat up the MMDA person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blair something. <laughs> say Blair. Yeah. The one who looked like Barney, though. Yeah, say Blair. Oh, fuck, man. That's awesome. Who do you think? Top, number one. All time. I'm a liar. You think I'm a liar is more popular than the the fight at the mall? The fight at the mall was fucking badass. Yeah, but it's not uh, culturally. It didn't stick, I guess. No, I just think maybe viral videos weren't so popular then. Like to be, have a viral video now is such a big deal. Like companies are trying to come up with viral videos, right? I think back it was too early for its time. Mm. Right. Yeah. Not enough people were like viral Facebook and shit like that. Yeah, and YouTube. YouTube wasn't that big yet. Yeah, YouTube wasn't that big then. Imagine if that fucking video came out these days. Oh, how gold. That was awesome. Don't they have a website I mean, and then in the mine is like Mine is like singing videos that have gone viral. Whether it be, you know, the guy, the dance with my father kid. I mean, yeah, remove that. I'm talking about scandal shit. Mm. That was good. I like that one. You know, the, the, the guy falling off the building recently, that didn't catch on too quickly, no? I mean, it, 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 we all saw it, but it's not that big of a deal. Why, yeah, why, why, yeah. It's depressing. <clears throat> yeah, it's but they don't awesome. show him, like, exploding on the ground. Mm. Yeah, but I think people like fighting more and scandals. Yeah, but what's great is the background is the whole... <laughs> <laughs> I still can't get over that. Yeah. All right, let's go to Pia. Pia, you are um, 18 years old, Quezon City, line five. Pia? Did we uh, lose Pia? Hold on. A on the line six. Hi, A, line six. What's up? Hello. Hi, A. Hello. Hello. What's up? Uh, so I have this question. Sure. How Hello? old are you? Where are you from? Yeah, how old are you? A. Hello? Yeah, how old are yeah. you, A? 20. 20. Okay, where are you from? Get in city. Fantastic. What's your question? Uh, do you guys know if girls are faking it? Yeah, I'd say uh, I'd say so. But at this point, we don't care. Like, well, I don't know. I can't speak for all guys. I I think I definitely think I can. I know when a girl is faking it. 
But at the same time, yeah, totally. I, I, listen, I want to please you. I want you to have an orgasm. But, I mean, please do it within reason. Like, I understand when you're faking when you're not. And if I see that you're faking it, I would probably go down on you and just try to make it real. You know? Um, but if, it, it's different for I, – I, I'd say about 80% of guys would know when a girl's faking it. Maybe 70%. Mm-hmm. And I would include myself in that 70%. And, I, you know, um, yeah, I mean, if, maybe not even that high. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's a hard question. I think I know about, I think maybe 70 guys, 70% of the guys know when a girl's faking it. I know about 95% of the time when you're faking it. Mm-hmm. Why? Do you fake it a lot? Sorry, sorry. Do you fake it all the time? Sorry, I couldn't understand hey. you. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's a cell phone. Sorry. Uh, hey, do you fake your it, orgasm all the time? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, now you're lying again. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I think guys do. I think guys know when they're when you're, uh, when you're faking. Uh, okay. The key here is... You know, awkward, but... <laughs> Go what? Awkward. Do you really do? Because I'm tired. And oh, are we there yet? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I got. But see, I guess the key to faking it is don't fake it early. Like, don't put the dick in you. Then all of a sudden, after twenty seconds, I'm coming now. I'm coming. That, that obviously, you know, it, it takes a little <laughs> longer than that. So, um, how else? Not too loud. Like, don't don't be so loud about it. Like, you know. I, I think what's really kind of cool, like if a girl is about to come, she just she kind of just whispers to the guy that she's coming. Like say we're having sex and all of a sudden you're like, I'm going to come. Then I'm like, whoa, I, you sound so serious about it. I think it's real. You know, <laughs> Don't be so loud and obvious. Uh, okay. All right. All right. all right. all right. You're the best. Thanks, A. Enjoy. Thank Bye-bye. you. 20-year-old... Another one with a fucking badge problem. Love it. Uh, also, I guess it depends on kind of like on the position. Like, I don't know. I mean, do, do, can girls have an orgasm in all positions? Like, can girls have orgasms doggy style? Like, I've I've never seen that. Like, I've never seen a girl come doggy style. It's always kind of like girl on top, maybe missionary, but like. I've never seen a girl, for example, come reverse cowgirl or any of the more aggressive positions. So if I saw a girl like, you know, reverse cowgirling and it's just like, I'm coming, I'm coming, like, mm, I don't believe you. Uh, let's go to Paolo, line six. Hi, Paolo. What's up? Uh, hold on. We got to go anyway, right? We got so many calls here we're trying to take yep. tonight, but do we, have a, we need a, how many commercial breaks do we still have? Uh, last one. So we need to take one more and then wrap up? Uh, yeah. Okay, so we can take Paolo then. We still have a little bit of time. All right, uh, give me either Paolo, Pia, Jay, whoever. I mean, uh, just Paolo's let me know who do we have. Paolo? Okay, line six. Hi, pal. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hello. Yes. Yeah, I'm okay. Good. What's up? Hello. Yes. Hey, hold on, hold on. Yes. Uh, Pico, yep. now this is our fault. When the last four callers are like, hello, hello, then it becomes us. Yes? Yeah, because they hear, hear us in the background. Hold on. Okay, please shut up then. In the background. Thank you. Paolo, what's up? Uh, yeah, I called up because um, I think my the sensation of my dick is losing every time I jack off or I have sex with my girlfriend. So you're saying after you jack off, no, no, you're... No. you're Okay, so your penis is losing its sensation after you jack off? Yeah, but usually after the bus, I'm a sensitive. But I'm not sensitive. I don't think it's a problem. Just as long as you can get erection again, you're fine. Uh, like, I think, and this is my opinion. But I think that uh, it, it's different for everybody. Like sometimes my penis feels numb also after I come or have sex. Like you know, it doesn't. It's not as ticklish as many of you think it is. Like 
It it it's, it depends. But but I think just as long as it's not affecting your performance, that you can still uh, get a really good. Mind, yeah, then I think you're fine. Uh, th- does the feeling come back after 15 minutes? Uh, yes. Pero kasi di ba after pag nagcome ya, dapat medyo sensitive siya. Parang feeling ko hindi eh. Yeah, but but that's just with you. It, it, it's it's not mandatory. Just as long as you can get an erection 15 minutes after or thereabouts 15 minutes after again, you can get your feeling back. I think you're fine. So do you think it's not a problem? I don't think it's a problem. If it's not erect, okay. if it's not affecting your erection, if it's not affecting your ability to refract, uh, which is get an get an erection again, uh, you know, say 15 minutes, 20 minutes after you've already come, then I think you're okay. Okay. All right, all right, buddy. Good luck, man. You. You're, you'll be fine. Right, your dick is your dick is perfect. Thank you. Bye bye. Right. Um, uh, Shelly on uh, five. Where where's Shelly? What what line? Sorry, guys. It's just uh, there's six. so many there's so much there's so much shit on my screen here. Shelly on line six. Thirty years old, Quezon City. Hi, Shelly. Yes. Hi. What's up? Hi, baby. How can uh, we help you? Hi. Yeah, I was just gonna ask what position would what. Is the best sex position you'd recommend for a seven-month pregnant woman? Ooh. Um, well, first of all, I would ask your doctor if it's okay to have sex in seven. Usually it is. I've got the clearance, so that's fine. Great. All right. Now, any, just anything that doesn't kind of press down on your stomach too much. So, uh, cowgirl, um, uh, reverse cowgirl. cowgirl. Yeah, doggy okay. style, maybe. You know, just don't, don't try and make sure your husband or your boyfriend doesn't try to destroy you when he's in the doggy style position. But <laughs> yeah, just anything that kind of takes a lot of the spooning is, is kind of cool too, where, you know, you're lying on your side because then your stomach is kind of away from the dangerous part. Right. So, you know, stay away, stay away from the stuff that, you know, you might kind of get pushed down upon, which is like missionary and, and any of the other ones, even the doggy style. Maybe stay away from the doggy style, so at least you're you're not carrying so much of that weight at that position. Because you know you're so heavy in the front that if you're on doggy style, it'll kind of weigh you down and maybe give you a little bit of a backache or something like that. So I would say cowgirl, uh, and then the spooning position, the way to go, where you're lying down side by side and he's he's kind of inserting himself yeah. from behind. Yeah, I think those I think are the that's two most comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that, that's definitely where you want to be. Something that's kind of just most comfortable for you, um, I think is the way to go. Okay. But, but always remember though, that if he comes in you, I think, if I'm not mistaken, again, I'm not a doctor, but if you kind of have sex, uh, it might stimulate your, uh, labor, like early, right? So be careful. Okay. Right. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck, baby. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Enjoy. Wait, wait. Are you having a boy or a girl? A boy. What are you naming him? Um, Andres. So it's sure yeah. to be a boy, and I'm three months away. Supposedly, this is the uh, peak of my uh, sexual enjoyment, the last trimester. So I'm going to be yeah. taking a lot of tips from you. So Sure. Yeah, do it. Enjoy. Have fun with that. Andres. That's Thanks. a good name. Kind of cordial, but fine. Sure. Thanks, baby. Have a good one. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. We're out of here. Let's let's get out of here. Let's, we've taken a ton of calls tonight. For those who um, have not gotten on the show, we apologize, but we can definitely have you tomorrow when Denise Laurel is here. We'll talk about uh, a lot of your other problems then. So let's take a break. When we come back, wrapping it up, don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. With All Stars, we're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, Some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. 
I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you download the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. I don't know if you guys are familiar with a, with a game Chubby Bunny. But, um, what's the thing? Have you ever played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth, and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not going to say Chubby Bunny. We're going to say, we're going to have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, okay, gonna ba? Okay. And you're going to be like, okay, na, okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Okay, I'll learn two at a time. Okay, gonna ba? What? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> okay, no, no. Okay, no, no. So she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back in the program here. Time to wrap it up. I want to thank all the callers who got on the show tonight. For those who didn't, tomorrow, trust me, that's going to be your night. Um, uh, we want to thank our staff for doing such a mediocre job every night. We appreciate it, staff. You guys are subpar, but thanks. Uh, what else? People download the program. Don't forget to spread the word to your friends. Just like the guy who called about his podcast. There's nothing like you people going out there telling people about the program. We appreciate it very much. Even if we do too, even, even if we do really well here, you can't do well enough. You always want to, you always want more people to listen to your material. So thank you so much to the people that can constantly around the world share this podcast with their friends. We appreciate you. And for the people who have podcasts, keep at it, man. Go out there and, you know, more material, more podcasts. We need a lot of people to get involved in this. And more now than ever, there's everybody's got a podcast these days. And that's good. It's good news. It's hard to, the, the problem with a lot of people having podcasts is it's hard to find the good ones because there's so many. But at the same time, it really, it's really good for the industry. So whoever you are, no matter what company you're in, whether you're with this company or any other company, go out and strive to have a lot of podcasts, make them fun, make them interesting, and all that good shit. All right, so uh, let's see. Caller of the night. Ooh, why don't we go with... Hmm, there were so many good ones tonight. How about the girl who was fucking that guy hardcore and then the one who was fucking him, like, making love to her at the same time? She was fucking those two cousins. How about her? What's her name? Pico? The one you wanted to bang to? Uh, Carrie. And uh, Pico can't remember because he's busy uh, yeah, looking Emily. at pictures. Sorry. Hey, Emily. Sorry, it's not Emily. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, 
can't concentrate. Oh, isn't that girl? Because oh, he's oh busy God, looking at girl. the pictures. She's Jesus. so fucking hot. Emily Ratad. Whatever. Ratajkowski. Emily fine as hell. Rata- Ratajkowski. Whoa, mo. Whoa. God, is she fucking Jeez. hot, man. I'm gonna turn lesbian for that. And so. she's like she's like 21 or 22 or some shit. Oh my God, Ooh. those boobs are perfect. Ay, <laughs> naka-on <laughs> Nice one, Ange. <laughs> and she fucking slut. <laughs> Pico, I didn't turn on my mic at the worst possible time. Uh, I don't like her duck lips. That's the only thing. That's the only problem her if there is a problem. But I wouldn't mind she has it. Lips? I didn't it's notice. the only thing that matters, diba? Right? <laughs> I don't know. This. Isn't she so hot? It's fucking is, it's nuts, crazy. Right? God damn it. That fucking Robin thick. I'll give you something thick. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> right? Have you seen her other photos? Now we're looking Dude, just type in, now. type in her name on Egotastic. Yeah, just that's type in her I'm name. Gonna, just her name on Egotastic. That's what we're going to do after the show. Look yeah. at all the other he incredibly gonna hot pictures. going to lock himself up in the bathroom. Yo! What a man. <laughs> she's yeah. like, she kind of looks like Miranda Kerr, but oh, man. Wow. She's hot. 20 she's... years old. Or 21 or some crazy amount like that. Just wow. Yeah. Hmm. We need one group masturbatorial session here with all of us. <laughs> Just, you know, me on this side, Pico will masturbate next to his little controls. Ledger will mas- Le- Andrew will masturbate next to the phone. Jane will masturbate on Skype. <laughs> We're just all kind of like in the middle of the show, just stop. Yeah, we have one. We have a caller <laughs> masturbating on the cell on the fucking phone. Yeah, it's a group thing. It's, it's yeah. yeah. You know, totally. Okay, so let's get out of here. We'll see you guys tomorrow night with Denise Laurel. Have a great night. Godspeed, everybody. Good for you. Bye-bye. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gulata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media Inc. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. You can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.